Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei hoffentlich grausig emotional durch entschieden Game of Thrones äh, äh, Telltale Series. Das war ein sehr gelungener und überhaupt nicht häufiger Start. Wir sind jetzt Myra vom Hause Forrester in King's Landing und werden jetzt den Brief von unserer Mutter lesen. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Ja, da hat ja die Mutter sehr detailliert geschrieben, was sie machen soll. So mögen wir das. So, aber wir werden trotzdem zu Lady Marjorie gehen. Und damit sehen wir jetzt quasi den ersten Big Player oh, dann gleich. Sorry, Lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Von den Hauptsprechern, die haben ja wohl von den Charakteren ja wohl alle auch ihre Originalsprecher. Begging your pardon, Lady, but you are right. Ich traue ihm nicht, er könnte von Cersei geschickt sein. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Hm. Das ist ja, was ist dadurch, dass Game of Thrones ist, denkt man halt sofort, hm, er könnte jetzt auch nur so tun, als wäre er nett und dann für Cersei spionieren. Oder kann ich ihm vielleicht doch vertrauen, man weiß es nicht. Und da ist Marjorie. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Ja, und damit haben wir den ersten Big Player. Der Hauptcharakter. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Well, how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. <laughs> for what, I yeah, don't know. She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford ja, any und bei Cersei sollte man vorsichtig sein. So I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. 
Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Ja, und das Schöne ist, aus Marjorie bin ist man halt aus der Serie bisher auch noch nicht schlau. Sie scheint sehr nett und Gutes zu wollen, aber man hat auch immer diese hohe Intelligenz, die man ihr ansieht. Und dass sie auch ihre eigenen Pläne verfolgt, mit Sicherheit. Das heißt, da bin ich noch keinen Schritt weiter. Du bist gut, ich weiß, dass du es gut bist. Du kannst eine Sache fühlen, aber du musst eine andere sagen. Aber die Tyrells sind auf jeden Fall mächtig, deswegen werde ich mich auf ihre Seite schlagen. Good luck. Oh, und dann sehen wir jetzt wohl Cersei. Oh, und Tyrion ist offenbar auch da. You can do this. Noch in Freiheit. Tja. Boah, die Szene ist so geil, wo Tyrion vor Gewicht steht. So gut gespielt. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Joffrey is the one true king, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet... For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did name Joffrey as the one true King. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Das weiß ich doch nicht. He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions, while in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renny Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. 
Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. If you are a girl from the North here in service to Lady Marjorie, one can only assume her interests are yours. Not Yet really. loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play oh, games. Yeah. Who do you choose? Och Leute, ich habe gesagt, ich halte mich an Marjorie. Wir waren bis jetzt eben äh, unterwürfig, aber jetzt mache ich mal nicht die Sansa Antwort, sondern jetzt bringe ich mal mein Haus in Gefahr. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly, your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. Nine. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such that is from The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget uh... I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Ja, ich hätte Tyrion jetzt gerne zugestimmt und mich darauf eingelassen, aber ich habe jetzt für Myra mal entschieden, dass sie sich an Marjorie halten sollte. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Wer bist du überhaupt? Kann ich dir trauen? 
Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that oh, white cloak oh, of Oh, that's gefährlich. Uh, what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. <laughs> das ist unwahrscheinlich. Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. <laughs> You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the seven kingdoms. Yeah, I'm so long to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Allerdings. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. <lacht> Sarah ist halt dabei. Das macht mir irgendwie so ein bisschen Sorgen. Aber ich riskiere es jetzt. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Okay. It's about my family. I trust her. Na gut, Marjorie. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but... My mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? <laughs> my mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Oh. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. 
King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. Please, Lady Marjorie, I beg of you. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Yes, stimmt. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Ja, mit Ramsay Snow sollte man wirklich nicht spaßen. Von Marjorie. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Dankeschön, Marjorie. Du bist unsere Frau. Jawohl, und Szenenwechsel. So. Ja, aber wir sind jetzt offenbar wieder bei Garrett und seinen Weg zur Wall. Den werden wir dann aber beim nächsten Mal uns betrachten. Und ja, ich mache jetzt für heute erstmal Schluss. Und dann sehen wir uns beim nächsten Mal. Euer Gauton. Ciao.